y'all for another video. If it's your first time stopping by, I'm Jeff Rowe and welcome. Today, as you can see in the thumbnail, I set out on a daunting task to remove probably a couple hundred ram's horn snails out of my son's 20 gallon breeder tank. The problem is since it is a breeder tank, there's fry, there's shrimp, there's baby plecos, um, you know, there's driftwood, there's moss, there's all kinds of hiding spots for these snails. So, what I plan on doing is taking all the fish out, or as much as possible, and uh, I'd like to get the shrimp out, but I don't know if it's necessary. But uh, my plan is to cut this ram's horn snail overpopulated tank. <laughs> They've taken over the tank and it would be nice to get as many of them out as possible. So without further ado, let's go to the video. All right, let's go ahead and get on into it. In here in Ashton's room, and we got this 20 gallon tank that gotta get all these snails out of here like i told you in the intro it is overrun it's just got way out of hand and the hardest part about this one is you can't set up any snail traps um we've got fry and we've got shrimp in here so we've got to do them the old-fashioned way we got to manually take them out so i'm going to take out all the fish as much of the shrimp as i can and the plecos and then I'm gonna manually take everything out and we'll see how it goes. It's proven to be a lot harder than what I thought. I'm pumping out some water into a bucket right now to where I can start taking out some of the moss and stuff like that. I'm down to only a couple of fish left, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know if you guys can see all these snails. That's one scoop. One scoop of snails. They're kind of congregated over here. It's like a nightmare to try to get the shrimp out of the way. Usually they scoot out of the way really good. But they're not one to scoot out of the way, so. I wasn't successful in getting all the fish and the plecos out of there. But I'm gonna try to get as many of the snails out as I can. Getting close to being done. I probably got a couple of hundred snails out of here. And uh, did I mention, I've still got to change all the water in this fish room too. It's no big deal, it's just four tanks. But uh, yeah, hopefully all the guppies make it. Got them floating right up here. <laughs> right up there. So hopefully they make it. But uh, I'm gonna carry on and then change all the water in here. Just about done in the fish room. I gotta finish filling this big tank up here. And then I gotta fill the uh, little 30 gallon flatty tank down there. Other than that, today was a success. I probably got 95% of the ram's horn snails out of the little 20 gallon tank over here. And uh, it looks a lot better. Wow, what a job. That was a lot more than what I thought it would be. The biggest reason why we had to do it this way is because I've tried to catch the snails in like a snail trap. You know, you cut the top off of a water bottle, turn it around backwards and shove it down in there and put like a big hunk of lettuce in there and snails go in there like crazy. But do, so do shrimp and so do fry fish fry so you can't do it that way so the only way that i could get them out was to manually take them out and man it was a job went ahead and got the water changed while i was in there and uh, got that taken care of i do believe on that 20 gallon tank as overstocked as ashton has it i will have to start doing 50 percent water changes twice a week instead of the once a week that i'm doing right now um, yeah, I just think that's gonna have to happen. So, thanks for coming along on this video. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, y'all.